Greetings and thank you for dropping by for the latest edition of Mentor Mike's Market Movie. Today is Monday, April 9, 2012. Quick announcement. I'll be out of the office all day tomorrow, so there will be no Market Movie on Tuesday the 10th. But I'll be back on Wednesday the 11th for business as usual. All right. Let's get started. You can see our long-term moving average and the others, the red, white, and blue, are clustered pretty close together. So that means we're going to trade the swings around the whole cluster, at least initially, until we get some kind of directional breakout. Okay, stop that. Notice that the price crossed all the moving averages on that last relatively short swing to the upside, and now I have a feeling it wants to do the same thing going back the other way. So let's get short. And before I start the data feed, I might as well draw the arrow. Wishful thinking, perhaps, but maybe it'll be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, stop that again. And it looks like we want to go back up the other way. MACD is bullish. We've got the blue oscillator line above the white signal line. So let's get long now that the stochastic has curled around.
No, well, he could have gotten short right there. But, look how quickly it's turning around. And in fact, I dare say it wants to go higher. Okay, now the stochastic has crossed the MACD and is heading down after being in our uh, overbought zone. So let's get it short. Draw the arrow. Now, what you'll notice is that uh, the stochastic will tend to cross these uh, overbought and oversold zone lines, which have been moved in closer to the center. Uh, and that uh, crossing takes place at about the same point as where the price crosses the parabolic in general. All right, we took a little dip below the blue moving average, and the stochastic took a little dip as well. And our MACD is just about ready to cross zero, which suggests that it wants to go higher. So since we've already hit both targets on the existing trade here, let's go ahead and jump in again and see if we can at least hit that first target. Beautiful. Hit both targets.
K. Reverse. We're actually a little slow on the uptake there. Looks like we have another opportunity to get along here. Stochastic is curved around and is breaking above the MACD again, so let's get back in. Okay, now stochastic has crossed the MACD and is dropping out of the overbought zone, so I think we need to get short here. Alright, let's see if we can get another bite of the apple here. We'll wait till the stochastic curves back around like that, perhaps. We're down here and we're pretty deep in the oversold zone, but we just got another uh, bearish hook there. So let's go short. Nope, there we go. And we're just about out of time here as well. Okay, yeah, we're a little past 
1.15 Pacific time. All right, $1,800 even. And let's see how many trades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen and oh, eighteen hundred dollars. Okay, well, like I said earlier, I won't be around tomorrow, but I'll be back on Wednesday. So come see us Wednesday, April 11th. Until then, have a great evening.